For animation in Keynote, they actually call uh, in Keynote animation, they, they call it builds. So for most uh, Keynote presentations, you'll be required to have at least one build on a presentation. So you're going to click on your slide and click on what you want to move. So if I want this title to move, I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to go up to animate. When I click on animate, you can see it says no build in effect, add an effect. So I'm going to go ahead and add an effect. I could choose any of these uh, that I want. So you know there are quite a few. You can decide what works for you. And then you could go ahead and change a few other things. So uh, how fast do you want it to go? What order? Do you want it all at once? This is for bullet points. So if I come in here and um, I have another sentence here, um, So if I have another sentence and I click on this text box and I add an effect, and let's say I do uh, flash bulbs, you can see right now they came in all at once, but I can also do it by bullet point. So if I do it this way and now I go ahead and I preview it, you can see one comes in then the next comes in. And you can choose, do you want it to go from first to last? Do you want to go last to first? Or, like I said, you could also do it all at once. So that will have both of those coming in at the same time. I can also add an effect here. So let's say I do a, a keyboard effect. And you can see right now the order is second. If I change this, I can make this come in first, and then if I click over here, you can see now that my order is saying that this will happen second. So if I preview it, oops, sorry. If I play this slide, you can see that my title is coming first, and then my bullet points come afterwards. So it just is a way to change the order that things are happening. You can also see it that if I come down here, there's another button that says build order. It's another way that you could change these pieces and move them around. You can see that when I put a build on, I end up with three dots here. This tells me that I have a build on this presentation. And just like in PowerPoint, your items should only move once. So this title really should only move once. These <clears throat> bullet points should only move once. Over here, I can have this title move once, my picture move once, and my name move once. So you don't want to have an item like, let's say, this picture. We don't want this picture to move six times. If it moves once, that is plenty. So keep that in mind as well. Things should only move one time. Uh, to get rid of an effect, so let's say I have an effect on here and I want to get rid of it and I don't like it, I could just change it to none or I can um, change it to be something else. So let's say I do a, uh, let's see here, fireworks, okay, and I decide, you know, I don't like fireworks, I could come up here to change and I could change it to something else. So that's the easiest way to change it. Okay. Again, the difference between a build and a transition, a build is when you are clicked on a specific item, a transition is when you are clicked on the entire slide. So you're clicked over here for a transition.